Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. Intolerance abounds as the radical left's version of intolerance will simply not be tolerated. I'm Matt Barber, Vice President of Liberty Council Action. Joining me via Skype interview again today is Peter LaBarbera, President of Americans for Truth about homosexuality. Uh, Peter, um, according to Christian News, after only a week on the job, a former NFL star and ESPN commentator was fired from his new position at Fox Sports Southwest after video uh, f- f- footage uh, came came up showing him saying that uh, homosexuals who support same-sex marriage will, quote, have to answer to the Lord for their actions. Craig James was a uh, patriot uh, uh, for the New England Patriots, a football player for the New England Patriots in the 1980s, started a new job. Uh, they found out he was a Christian who believed what the Bible teaches about homosexual sin, and uh, he's been axed. Uh, this is just uh, par for the course, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is, and I saw that debate that he was axed for. Um, it, it's amazing. He ran for Senate. Ted Cruz won that race. Ted Cruz was in the same debate. Uh, it's Craig James, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, uh, and Mr. James said uh, that basically he he does not he disagreed with marching. Uh, a politician, a Republican, uh, apparently the mayor of Dallas had marched in the gay pride parade. He said he disagreed with that. He went on to same-sex marriage. He said that homosexuals have to answer to the Lord for that. He said he believes homosexuals choose uh, homosexuality. And, uh, of course, everybody chooses their sexual behavior. Uh, and what's amazing is is that that what ESPN is – I'm sorry, what Fox Sports is now saying essentially is – uh, you, if you're a Christian who happened to voice publicly your beliefs against homosexuality, you can't work here. And what's happening is this rising intolerance uh, against anybody who says anything public against homosexuality, and it's quite frightening. Well, it's it's censorship, it's uh, political correctness run amok, and it's it's the left's goal. It's it's as you know all too well, Peter. Uh, radical homosexual activists want to push. Uh, anybody who holds a, a traditional view of sexual morality to the fringes, the biblical view of sexual morality, you dare not speak that view publicly or they will try to destroy you. So they yeah. are, are saying here, because of, through political correctness, that because Craig James happens to believe with, I would suggest, and I believe, the majority or at least well over half of Americans who believe that homosexual behavior is sin, and certainly the vast majority of the world recognizes this self-destructive lifestyle as, as sinful and, and wrong, and both biologically and morally speaking, uh, you know, they want they want you silenced. Intolerance will not be tolerated, at least their version of intolerance. Absolutely, Matt, and you've done some great writing on this. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, th- this is one of the most amazing uh, self marketing stories ever. About 60 years ago, a guy named Harry Hay, who, by the way, uh, happened to support NAMBLA, the North American Man Boy well, Love he, Association. He, he's the he's the father of the homosexual activist movement, Harry Hay, right? He, yeah, Harry Hay is the guy who came up with the idea of homosexuals as a minority. He formed he, he had to try to get people to support his group, and at the time there was only a handful of them. Now think ahead, sixty years forward, it's becoming intolerable to say publicly that homosexuality is a sin. Now, what happened to Craig James is, is similar to what's happening to Christians all across the country. I just read the case of the New Mexico photographers, uh, the Hugenins, who are now uh, have lost their case to the Supreme Court. If that stands, a Christian photographer cannot refuse to take pictures at a homosexual so-called marriage. Uh, you know, this is like asking a Jew to take pictures at David Duke's wedding. You know, this this is ridiculous. Um, and yet, this is what the the, the homosexual lobby uh, is has got the power. And they're showing that they're, they're willing to use the power to force people to be pro-gay. That's what it all comes down to. And again, as I said in a previous show, it's all about that, their inner conscience. They need yeah. to tell themselves that this is acceptable behavior, and they need others to approve of them. Because actually, 
they can't deal with the what the reality is, which is it's just sin. It's a sin that can be overcome with the help of the Lord. Uh, many people have left homosexuality. This is not like other minorities. You don't see ex-blacks and ex-Hispanics out there, but there are thousands of former homosexuals, Matt. And we both know it's one of the most amazing stories out there that the media will never tell. Well, absolutely no. They will not tell that story. And homosexual activists, they know that people can and have in droves, untold thousands of people have left homosexuality. They just cannot abide that. They cannot allow that to happen strictly from a political standpoint. So they've even, as you know, Liberty Council is very involved with defending the, the rights to self-determination of, of young people and parents and counselors and helping people who have unwanted same-sex attraction. They don't even want, want to allow them to even explore leaving homosexuality. And, and so they would uh, presume to, to yank counselors' licenses who help uh, people with unwanted same-sex attractions. Well, Pete, uh, you hit on something very important here. I think, uh, you know, God has written his laws on the hearts of every man, woman, and child. Every individual engaged in the homosexual lifestyle who has adopted a homosexual identity, they know intuitively that what they're doing is immoral, unnatural, and self-destructive, yet they uh, thirst for that affirmation because they've tied their whole identity up in this sexual perversion. So they thirst for that affirmation. So under penalty of law, they want to force everybody uh, to, to, you know, look, say the emperor wears, uh, is, you know, has uh, no clothes. Look at the, or they look at the emperor's new clothes when the emperor has no clothes. Right. Well, yeah. And um, Matt, you know, the, the, the media, um, you know, this was Fox Sports. I did a report for uh, Americans for Truth. You can find it at americansfortruth.com on the growing pro-gay bias, even at Fox News. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I said, what if Fox News, just like right now, they're, they're highlighting the black conservatives who don't get attention in the other media. What if Fox News started focusing on these ex-gays, these wonderful stories, people like Charlene Cothran, who was a famous lesbian activist, who basically her mother and friends were praying for her. And one day she was at a black gay pride event in Chicago of all places. And she looked out and she had a tremendous sense of shame. That came from God. I believe that was from the Holy Spirit. Charlene Cothran is now a former lesbian. She's a Christian evangelist. She's leading others, other women and men out of the homosexual lifestyle. This is one of the greatest stories that's never told yeah. by the media because the media, even including some at Fox News, have sold out to this agenda. Well, Christians are accused all the time of, of hate and laying shame on those in, involved in homosexuality. The least compassionate thing I can think of, Pete, would be to encourage someone to engage in uh, demonstrably unhealthy, from a physical standpoint, and sinful behavior that, that ultimately, if, if uh, continued in an unrepentant fashion, Scripture is very clear, separates People from God, the most compassionate thing to do when someone is running toward a cliff is to yell, stop, right? Absolutely. And Matt, let's look at the young people. We're told by people like Dan Savage that we need to affirm young people to show them compassion and love. And yet the CDC reports that 94 to 95 percent of male AIDS, HIV cases ages 13 to 24, 95, 94 percent of those are from homosexual sex. Who would confirm a young man or even a teenage boy in a lifestyle that dangerous? Well, uh, the, the CDC statistics, the FDA statistics, uh, you can't even argue with them. It is, I, I believe, criminally reckless based on the statistics uh, of the uh, health-related pitfalls of homosexuality to encourage kids to engage these behaviors. Pete, uh, about uh, 30 seconds or so, your clo closing thoughts? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Uh, we have to get around the media somehow. we got to tell the stories of all the ex-gays. Some of them go through reparative therapy. Many of them are just born-again believers whose lives have been radically changed by Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a great story. Uh, you can find out some more on our website at americansfortruth.org. Okay, yeah, americansfortruth.org. Uh, Pete, again, thank you for your, your great work that you're doing. You take all the arrows uh, you know, you're right up on the front lines in this issue. You get called the worst names. I know death threats, hate mail is a, a, a daily, a, a daily uh, a, a business with you. And uh, so thanks for everything you're doing again, Pete. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, folks, go to lc.org to uh, uh, help contribute to Liberty Council and our mission in uh, defending natural marriage and natural family. 
for defending those who stand firm, uh, people like Craig James, who, who uh, are, want to openly share the truth of the love of Christ and the truth about sexual morality and sexual immorality. Give us a call, 1-800-671-1776, or go to LC. Dot .org. Uh, it's through your contributions and your gifts that Liberty Council is able to stand on the front lines in defense of freedom. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.